Hi everybody, welcome back to our, our next exercise video. So today we are going to look at balance. Balance is one of the things that we don't really do as a, core, as a matter of course. Um, but if you look at the whole encompassing elements of fitness, you know, you've know, got fitness in the middle, you've got endurance, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got agility, you've got coordination, you've got balance. We need to think about sort of all those, those bits. We're very good at doing the endurance size, going for runs, going for cycles, you know, playing, very good at doing the power size, lifting weights, but we forget about the other bits that really will really, really help us, especially with in terms of um, racket sports, tennis, squash, running, you know, anything like that, and just calming, calming the body and things down. So just a, f a few exercises that you can do again as a routine. You can, you can do them two, three, four, five times if you want to. You can do them regularly just as, as in, the, in the day and they can be modified. So I'll show you, hopefully, a way that we can all sort of do, do these things. Now remember, balance is, a, is that we are, to, we are testing the balance, we are testing the system to be able to control us and to give us that extra little bit of stability. If you know you haven't got great balance, if you're suffering from an injury, then have something close by, a chair, something like that, and just have a, hover your hands over the, over the top of it to give you that, that little bit of an extra stability, because last thing you want is to fall flat on your face. Um, you know, it's, it, it, this is helping having this to give us confidence, but also strength and things as well. So a lot of it will be building on the core strength, on the inner strength here. Um, but it's, you know, nothing should be painful and it certainly shouldn't be forced and we certainly shouldn't be gripping or guarding or anything like that. So we're just going to start off simply, what well, we're simply, it's not that simple at all, the balance work is never simple. It should, it should be difficult, but we should be, it shouldn't be sort of hard work or causing us any pain. That's the most important thing. So I'm going to start off with what we call abaresque. Now abaresque is a bit like a, a yoga pose, you've done, done all this that sort of stuff. So you're going to be standing on, on one leg, you're going to be on both sides remember as well. So again, be nice and tall and just transfer the weight over to your, to your, your right leg. Again, have something the close by if you want to. And all we're going to do is just send the leg back, keeping the supporting leg straight. A little slight bend in there and then coming back up coming through and then up into this position. And then if you want to get your balance, you can come back down. But ultimately what I want you to try and do is to hold that position, be nice and tall, take the leg back, leg straight, keep your hips straight, arms through, good, and then coming back, ooh, and then, see, it's not as easy as it looks, coming through and then lifting up, power drive back. So we're going through, up, so nice and slowly, three, Four, one more, and five. So this leg, hamstring, core, everything all working. Again, other side. You can add some arms in if you want to. So you're doing like a runner, but I quite like to keep hands on the hips and then make sure they're not twisting or turning. So again, nice and tall. Transfer weight, going through, back. Nice and tall. Keep your head up, keep your chest up, coming through and knee lift. Do touch the floor if you need to get your balance. Up. Through. So all this stuff is slow, it's controlled. Three, two more. Good, one more. through there. Good. And down. Well done. So that's the emphasis on the hamstring. Okay, so now thinking about the side to side work that, that squash, tennis, pretty much running, you know, if, you, if you're stepping off a curb, whatever, any kind of sport needs this, is, that, is that lateral stability and motion control. So you're going to be in a slight slip, um, split squat position. Excuse me one second. Flat split squat position. Nice until there, so you're just going to gently just jump to one side and hold, and hold, okay? So a bit like speed skater, so good. Across and hold. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. So a bit of balance, a bit of cardio work there too. 
Okay, so now we're going to go straight into a dynamic lunge. Okay, so you're going to step back. Nice to sit slow this, we're not looking at power, we're looking at control. So up, coming through, if you want to touch the floor to lift, but try and get it so you're coming back, down, up, lift, down, up, lift, good. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Ten on the other side. So we're lifting up, stepping back, down, and through. This side's rubbish. Good one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nine, one more. Ten. So I know which side I need to work on. <laughs> so again, you can just you can even just lift up and go through, lift up and go through. In that dynamic positioning movement, that's fine. It doesn't have to be a big, a big old lunge. Do what you feel comfortable with. And last but not least, we're going to be in a slight squat position with the top face before. We're literally going to step to one side, hold on that one leg, and you're just going to step to the side. You can touch the floor with your big toe if you want to, but ultimately I want you to do five to the side without touching the floor, five to the back without touching the floor, four, five, and then again, five to the front, two, touch the floor if you need to, five, good, back, change your side, little mini squat, to the side, two, three, four, five, and to the front, two, three, four, five, and then to the back, Four, ooh, three, two, one. Good, and back up. So anything really that requires single leg stance, you're just bouncing one leg when you're brewing up, brushing your teeth, all those kinds of things. And then if you really fancy, you can close your eyes. Wobble boards, all really good. All such great things for balance, which we tend to lose, especially if we're reducing activity. If you add some, some um, plyometrics, some dynamic movement into that, then you're going to make things work that little bit harder. It doesn't have to be. You can make it to your own level. Just standing, like I say, on that one leg, and then a classic tree pose in yoga, where you're up and, and adding in the arms, adding some rotation, adding some rotation. Loads of someone can throw a ball, but throwing and catching, all that sort of stuff is really, really good to keep those systems working and going. <clears throat> be tall, be strong, try not to be here, try not to look at the floor, all those sorts of stuff, all standards and good steps for our sports, but also for walking, for general, general health. I hope that's been of some help. Like, as always, drop us a text, drop us um, um, an email, message at the, uh, the one below. Um, if you've got any, anything you want to, want to ask for, anything you want me to do, then we'll, uh, we'll be able to do that over the course of the next few, few days and weeks. Enjoy.